Welcome to Super Great Kids Stories. Fun tales to make you laugh and cry with some of the best storytellers from around the world. Recommended for ages 5 to 105. I'm Kim and I love stories. Hello story listeners everywhere. How are you? If you're in the UK, you might be going back to school soon or even already back at school. Now, that's a reason to be cheerful. And here's another reason. This week, we have a new theme for our stories, love and friendship. Hooray! So, this week's story is from India, and it's told by the magnificent Peter Chand. It's about two little mice who search far and wide to find someone to marry their daughter. Will they succeed? Have a listen and find out. But first... Time to say hello to some listeners who've been getting in touch, telling us their favourite stories and sharing pictures with us. Kelly from Ireland says that all the stories are so good she can't decide which is her favourite. Thank you, Kelly. Munchkin says they like the one about the giant and the bird. Yes, I like that one too, because it has lots of little friends who all work together to bring down a giant. Teamwork makes the dream work. And Alia also likes that story. She sent us the most beautiful picture on Facebook of her dreamy dream kingdom, where pink rivers flow and unicorns live in the golden heart grass. Thank you, Alia. And thanks to Polly, who is seven. She says her favourite story is How the Mosquito Became, because it's got whistling giants in it. Well, Polly, I have to say it's one of my favourite stories too, because do you know what? It's the very first storytelling story which I ever heard. Lozé asked why we have adverts in a podcast for children. And I think that's a good question, Lozé. But it's something we have to do for now in order to be able to make Super Great Kids stories. If you'd like to support Super Great Kids stories with a regular subscription of £3 a week, you'll be able to access all our stories without the adverts. Visit our Ko-fi page, that's K-O-F-I at ko-fi.com forward slash super great kids stories and thanks to susan passmore for your donation really kind of you susan now let's get on with the show it's time to hear our story which is from india and it's told by peter chand and you'll need your best storytelling skills for this one are you ready mouth open story jump out so in india it's the tradition for parents to choose a husband or wife for their children. And that was no different with this particular family, but this was a family of mice. And even mice, you know, want a good husband for their daughter. And they were thinking, you know what? We need somebody big. We need somebody strong, and we need somebody who's going to treat her like a princess. And so they're scratching their heads and they're thinking, hmm, who could be the perfect husband for our beautiful daughter? And the wife said, um, what about Satnam? And the dad said, Satnam, are you joking me? Satnam, that mouse, that mouse who works in the bakery, all he does all day is eat, 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 because he loves his samosa. Have you ever eaten a samosa? A big, juicy samosa. Maybe you can help me. One, two, three. <laughs> ah, delicious. He loves his pakora. Let's grab a beautiful pakora. Full of vegetable. One, two, three. <coughs> ah, delicious. And then he lies in the sun with his belly going up and down, up and down. Do you think that's the kind of husband I want for my beautiful daughter? I don't think so. So they're scratching their head. Maybe you can help me, remember? We need somebody big. We need somebody strong. And we need somebody who will treat her like a princess. And the wife says, um, what about Balbir? He says, are you joking me, wife? Balbir, that mouse who works in the sweet shop. I'm surprised he's got any teeth left. He has a sugar high all the time because he loves his juicy galab jamans. You know those galab jamans that have been soaked in rose water and syrup overnight. You ready? One, two, three. Mm. Ah, sugar! He loves his ladoos, those yellow sweetmeats. You ready? One, two, three. Mm. 
Sugar! He loves his curly whirly orange crispy jalebis. You ready? One, two, three. Mm. Ah, sugar! Delicious sugar! Sugar! He gets so high with his sugar high, and everything that goes up must come down because after a while, sugar, sugar, sugar. He really comes down and he's all miserable. That's not the kind of husband I want for my beautiful daughter. No, 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 no. We'll have to think harder than this. So they're thinking once again, do you remember? We need somebody big. We need somebody strong. We need somebody who will treat her like a princess. And the wife looks up in the sky and she sees something big and bright and yellow. Maybe you can guess what it was. It was the sun. Husband, husband, look, I've been thinking. The sun gives heat to the world. It gives light to the world and it helps all things to grow. The sun's got to be the most powerful thing in the world. Why don't we ask the sun to marry our daughter? And the husband stood there, uh, twiddling his whiskers and thought, What a great idea. I'm glad I thought of it. So let's go. So here's what we're going to do. The husband, the wife and the daughter, they're off to see the sun. But you can't just turn up and say, Hello, son. You've got to go with a bit of rhythm, a bit of music. So I'm going to teach you a simple Punjabi song. It's only got four words in it. The first word is Aja, the second word is Dur, the third word is Chaliye, and the fourth word is Dur, repeated, Dur, Dur, Dur. So Aja, Dur, Chaliye, Dur, 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 which means come, let's go far away, far, far, far. So the Dur, Dur, Dur means far, far, far. You ready? So let's start off slowly. Aja, Dur, Chaliye. Dur, dur, dur. Aja, dur, chaliye. Dur, dur, dur. Should we get a bit faster? Aja, dur, chaliye. Dur, dur, dur. Aja, dur, chaliye. Dur, dur, dur. Aja, dur, chaliye. Dur, dur, dur. And soon they reached that beautiful sun who was big and proud. Maybe you can do a big, proud, blazing sun. And he said, what can I do for you? Uh, uh, and the husband and wife said, well, it's really simple. We just want a, a husband for our beautiful daughter. We want somebody who is big, somebody who is strong, and somebody who will treat her like a princess. And we thought, you give heat to the world and you give light to the world. So you have to be the most powerful thing in the world because you help all things to grow. Please marry her. And the son said, I am big, I am strong, but you know what? There is someone stronger than me. Stronger than the son, said the mother and father. Who's stronger than the son? And he says, look across the sky. And as they looked, they saw these floaty things. Are those clouds? He says, yes. And when I'm there giving my sunshine to the world, those clouds just wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble in front of me. They take away my sunshine, my glory, my power. So I am strong, but they are stronger than me. You need to go and see the clouds. So they said, thank you, as they do in India by putting their hands together. Can you do that? Thank you. And off they went. You remember the song? Aja dur chaliye dur dur dur. Aja dur chaliye dur dur dur. Aja dur chaliye dur dur dur. And when they got there, those clouds were just floating. Wibbly wobbly. Can you help me? Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly. What can I do for you? Uh, uh, we just want a husband for our beautiful daughter. We want somebody big. We want somebody strong. And, and we want somebody who will treat her like a princess. Now, we thought the most powerful thing in the world was the sun. But he said you take away his glory. You're stronger than him. So please, 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 please marry our daughter and give her the life she deserves. And you know what the cloud said? I am big. I am strong, but there is someone stronger than me. Stronger than you? Who, who, who can be stronger than the clouds? He says, look across the sky. And they looked. And as they looked across the sky, they saw somebody with the biggest cheeks they had ever seen. Who's that? That is the wind. And he blows in this direction and that direction. Wherever he blows, I wibble wobble this way. I wibble wobble that way. I've got no free will of my own. So I am strong, but the wind is stronger. You need to see the wind. So that mouse family put their hands together again and said, thank you. And off they went. Remember the song? Aja dur chaliye dur dur dur. Aja dur chaliye dur dur dur. Aja dur chaliye dur dur dur. And when they got there, can you help me? Blow out that wind as hard as you can. Oh, one. Two, 
three. What can I do for you? Uh, uh, it, it, it's just a simple thing. We just want a husband for our beautiful daughter. We want somebody who is big, somebody who is strong, and somebody who can treat her like a princess. Now, we thought that was the sun. But the sun sent us to the clouds, and the clouds sent us to you. Please help us. Look at our daughter. She's beautiful. Just give her the life she deserves. Well, you know what the wind said. I am big. I am strong. But you know what? And they said, not you as well. He says, yes, there is someone stronger than me. And they said, eh, ooh, ooh. He said, look down, look down, 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 down into your village. And they said, but we've just come from there this morning. And look, can you see? Have a look in the bazaar. Now, the bazaar is the market. And in the market, as they looked, well, there were people selling bangles and gold and silver, people selling beautiful fabrics. And next to them was a statue. That's what I want you to look at, because the statue was of Hanuman, the monkey general. Some of you may know him from the Diwali story, from the Rama and Sita story. And he says, you see that statue? That statue stands there all day. And the sun, the sun that you met, beats down on its head all day, and that statue does not move one little bit. Those wibbly-wobbly clouds that you met throws down its rain all day on the statue's head, but the statue does not move one little bit. And me, me, I blow in four different directions all day, but still the statue does not move one little bit. That statue is stronger than all of us. You need to see the statue of Hanuman, the monkey general. So once again, they put their hands together and said, thank you. And now they were going down to earth. They traveled so far. They were only small little mice. So you think they were tired? Of course they were. So now they lost a little bit of their funkiness. So and we're going to do that song again as they go down to earth, but in a very tired fashion. So use your storytelling skills for me now and use your voice to show a tired mouse family. And when they got down to earth and they looked up at that statue and <gasps> it was 40 feet tall. And like I said, they were only small little mice. So when you have a problem that large, what do you do? You start from the bottom and work up. So let's start from the feet. Up the legs. Up the body. Finally, they landed on the shoulder. They whispered into the giant ear of Hanuman, the monkey general. Please help us. We've traveled so far. We're desperate. We just want a husband for our beautiful daughter. We want somebody who is big. Somebody who is strong and somebody who will treat her like a princess. We went to see the sun. The sun sent us to the clouds. The clouds sent us to the wind. And the wind said, come and see you, please, please. And as those giant eyes opened, can you make like a metal sound, scratching and scraping? A booming voice said, I am big. I am strong. But do you know what? And they said, oh, no. He says, yes, there is someone stronger than me. Listen. And at first they couldn't hear it. He says, no, way down below. And as they listened from below his foot, they could hear a, a scratching, a scraping. What's that? That is a little fellow beneath my right foot about this big. He's got whiskers, he's got a hairless tail, he goes squeak, 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 and he's fond of a bit of cheese. And that little fellow is scratching away. He's scraping away. It might take him a week. It might take him a month. It might take him a year. But sooner or later, there'll be a hole in the ground beneath my foot. And all it will take is a little bit of wind. And I'll start rocking. I'll start rocking. I'll start rocking and I'll come crashing down on the ground and I'll probably squash my nose. And that little fella is going to do what the sun couldn't do, what the clouds couldn't do, and what the wind couldn't do. Because if you remember Mouse Family, they could not move me one little bit. He's stronger than all of us. Now they were so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So you ready? You got the Mouse Family? We're going to go down. Aja dur, jellye, dur, dur, dur. Aja dur, jellye, dur, dur, dur. Aja dur, jellye, dur, dur, dur. 
and they knocked on the foot. The big toe opened because that was the front door. And from under that toe appeared, I'm sure you've guessed, a handsome little boy mouse. And I'll tell you what, when he saw the girl mouse, his eyes went, a one, two, three, a wooga. When she saw him, her little heart went, a digga, 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 a digga, 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 a digga, 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 a digga, digga, digga. And they fell madly in love. Five days later, they got married. And my goodness me, what a brilliant marriage it was. And here's the most interesting thing about this story. Even though he was only small, you know what? He cherished her and loved her. And every single day, he truly made her feel like she was indeed a princess. And that mouse and his wife lived happily ever after. Thanks for listening. I'd like you to put your hands together in the Indian tradition and give a little bow and say thank you to Peter Chan for that story. I'd particularly like to thank all of our followers in Adelaide. If you'd like to support our podcast, then head over to ko-fi.com forward slash super great kids stories. And if you'd like to see Alia's picture of the dreamy dream kingdom or for me to reply to you, go to our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash stories. We'd love to hear from you. And remember to like, subscribe, follow and review us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts.